Aloha, it's Kim Jeling with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your weekly reading for the week of August 30th through September 6th. I believe that's the dates. Yeah, 31st, actually. August 31st through September 6th. So this week I feel called to share with you some guidance related to your life purpose and what you're doing here on earth, because this is something that's been coming up a lot as I've been talking with people, and I feel it's important to have sort of that um, nudge in the right direction, right, in the direction that you're meant to be sharing your gifts and what you're meant to be doing in the world, where you're meant to be spending your time, that type of thing. So uh, we're going to use the Life Purpose deck for that in just a moment. To start with, though, I am going to share with you the overriding theme for this particular week. And we have the Seven of Earth. Earth cards are all about how you make your money, what you need to do to be here on Earth. And there is a pause energy this week. So this is, you know, sometimes we get sort of an ebb and a flow. Like for me, uh, last week was super, super busy. Um, this week is um, feeling a, a little bit calmer, right? And so this is almost like retrograde energy, which is interesting because we do have Mars going into retrograde in a couple days, uh, I believe on the 9th, September 9th, Mars is going into retrograde, which again is a slowing down. But what they're wanting to let you know is there's no reason to worry, right? Like there's nothing to worry about. It's just temporary. And we do have these ebbs and flows often. And so don't worry about that. You've done a good job, right? You've got a lot of seeds planted. You've done a good job with it. So let's see what we've got going for your life purpose. over there okay so we've got the family card coming in for you and I think a lot of times people feel like well how is that really a life purpose to have you know that connection with your family and to be spending time with your family but it is like that's part of your purpose and what you came here to do and some of you this will be your main focus. So you are maybe a stay-at-home mom. Um, maybe you're the one that always gets everyone together and organizes people, right? And connects people and shares what's going on with each other. I, I know in my family, my mom was that person, right? That always uh, kept us connected and always uh, created gatherings for us. And you know, would share what so-and-so was up to and what this other one, I come from a big family, I come from a family of six. So my mom was always the one to say, oh yeah, so-and-so's doing this or this is going on in so-and-so's life, right? Uh, so this is part of your life purpose is that family aspect of things. And it's not just family, it is friends as well. And it's that, um, that connection and swirling with them, right, is part of your purpose. You are also a leader. So you're meant to be um, in a leadership role role in some way, shape, or form in your life. So leadership can come, uh, sometimes this might be uh, just being on a committee, or like for me, I'm on the board of the International Feng Shui Guild. Um, that's sort of a leadership position, right? So it can come up in many different ways. And of course, it can mean that you are the boss, or you are a supervisor, or something like that in the work that you do. And the thing to remember about being a leader is it, it is about taking charge right and in this particular week it's about taking charge of the situation right um, so take things in 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 your hands and um, do something so it's not about like uh, you know and it might even be doing something might be delegating but it's still this energy of of taking charge okay so that's the energy that's coming in this week also, writing is coming in this week. So you are an author, whether you're published or not yet, whether you've even written one word or not yet, you are an author and the angels are helping you with your writing. So sometimes this is, you know, might even be like you're doing blogs or you're doing magazine articles or 
um, you know, of course, it, what we often think of when we think of authors is you're writing a book, right? And so this week is a good time to do some writing. It's a great time to allow that energy to flow through you. I love um, to channel messages, right? And oftentimes they do that where I'll just ask the angels and guides a question that's maybe been on my mind. And then I will just write, you know, I'll just get quiet, obviously meditate, and then I will write. And the answers that come through are always wonderful and they're always positive, uplifting and helpful. And so you're being guided to, to do some of that this week. So that's what I've got for you guys this week. Have an amazing, amazing, um, uh, week and let me know what's coming up for you around any of this. Feel free to share what aha moment you maybe had as you were listening to the reading and we'll see you next week.